السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو سین دا ٹرانسفارمر ریٹنگس اینڈ دیئر ریلیٹڈ پرابلمس وی ہیو سین اباؤٹ دا اپرنٹ پاور دا پرائمری اینڈ سیکنڈری وولٹیجز دا افیکٹ آف فریکوینسی اینڈ پر یونٹ سیریز ریزسٹنس اینڈ ریئیکٹنسز دیٹ آر نارملی وی ہیو سین ہاؤ وی کین میئر اینڈ دے آر گیون ان دا ٹرانسفارمر ریٹنگس سو دیٹ وی کین ناٹ ایکسیڈ دا وولٹیجز اینڈ کرنٹس دیٹ آر uh design for which the transformer is designed so in the today's uh, uh, video we will uh, look at a very small topic of this uh, instrument uh, transformers normally we have two uh, special purpose transformers uh, used in the power system for measurements one is called the potential transformer which is used to measure the voltages the uh, voltage levels at different points in the power system and the other is called the current transformer which is obviously Uh, by the name it means that we can measure the currents at different points in uh, the power system so potential transformer is a specially wound transformer uh, with a high voltage primary and low voltage secondary so it has a very low power rating and its sole purpose is to provide a sample of a power system's voltage to the instrument monitoring it since the principal purpose of transformer is voltage sampling it must be very accurate as so as not to distort the true voltage values too badly so the potential transformers of several accuracy classes may be purchased depending on how accurate the readings must be for a given applications normally you have used uh, the uh, multimeters in the labs uh, for measurement of the small voltages but for the high voltages high uh, high tension cables uh, uh, these uh, small uh, multimeters are not uh, useful to my desk were uh, that high voltages so we use these special potential transformers then the current transformer are the <coughs> transformers that sample the current in a line and reduce it to a safe and measurable level so here we can see that we have this ferromagnetic loop and we have the loosely connected winding on it so that we can bear the current so the current transformer consists of a secondary winding wrapped around a ferromagnetic ring and a single primary line running through the center of the ring so the ferromagnetic ring holds and concentrates a small sample of the flux from the primary line so that <coughs> flux then induces a voltage and current in the secondary winding so we can have the measurement by accordingly transforming that current to the actual value so a current transformer differs from the other transformers in that its windings are loosely coupled unlike all other transformers the mutual flux in the current transformer is smaller than the leakage flux so because of the loose coupling the voltages and current ratios of equations that we have seen previously they do not apply to the current transformer So nevertheless the secondary current is uh, in a current transformer is directly proportional to the much larger primary current and the device can provide an accurate sample of the line's current for measurement purposes So current transformer ratings are given as ratios of primary to secondary current So here's a small video that I have taken from the internet to show you how these uh, transformers are manufactured and uh, Uh, or uh, for the testing purposes they have given certain points on the transformers so let's look at this video power transformers transform electrical energy from one voltage level to another by stepping voltages up for transmission to minimize losses or down for distribution. They belong to the most valuable assets of a utility. Manufacturing a new transformer and transporting it to site results in substantial costs. However, the damage caused by a transformer failure and the subsequent loss of production may end up costing far more. Utilities therefore try to keep their transformers in operation for as long as possible. During regular operation, and in particular during an electrical fault, power transformers are subject to electrical, mechanical, thermal, and environmental stresses. Power transformers are exposed to mechanical stress during transport from factory to site, during relocation from one substation to another, during earthquakes 
or during external short circuit faults. Transformers have to withstand the stress of operating voltages as well as pulse voltages like lightning or switching pulses. The inner losses, dominantly caused by load current, must be dissipated. High temperature causes deterioration of the transformer's insulation materials. Transformer failures caused by these stresses can result in explosions, subsequent fire, and costly after effects such as long outages caused by cleanup and plant repair, as well as the long delivery times of new transformers. Therefore, utilities and service providers test power transformers in order to assess their condition, schedule maintenance work, and plan the replacement. The most common electrical methods include measuring winding resistance and checking the tap changer, measuring transformer ratio and excitation current, and capacitance and dissipation factor or power factor measurements Measuring the winding resistance and comparing it to factory measurements allows possible winding damage to be identified. For instance, winding short circuits or contact problems of the windings, leads, or the tap changer. Measuring ratio and magnetization current helps to identify short circuits between winding turns. Capacitance and dissipation factor or power factor measurements are performed to evaluate the condition of the transformer's bushings. After an electrical failure, winding geometry and insulation integrity may also be verified using advanced diagnostic measurements such as short circuit impedance or leakage reactants and frequency response of stray losses. Or measuring power factor or dissipation factor over a range of frequencies. Through periodic and diagnostic measurement and maintenance efforts, utilities and service providers help satisfy the ever-growing need for a reliable electrical supply 24-7. So hi, you have seen this uh, video. So thanks to the Omicron and I have used this video for the teaching purpose only. Uh, no other copyright infringements have been occurred. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.